five players early on are going to lean to this A side. Oh, in we go. That's already going to be GMD picking up a kill into JC Stanny. Vice. Ooh. Oh, man. Alongside the Sage right next to him, going to be able to take down Sean very far away in the middle of sight. Mikhail playing towards the back pyramid, and nice little burst onto Ye. is going to be there at the exact same time getting a kill from Double Doors. Watch out, Vice, Vice! Mid-air, is able to take him down pretty easily. Seb now in that 1v3, one person currently lit, that's Ye. Excuse me, that's not Ye. <laughs> Ye's yeah, already dead. Seb, in we go, though. S spots out the camera. Spike is already way out of his range with one person playing ring around the rosy in the middle of sight. Seb, he is done and dusted. Gen G, what a big round. Playing this 3-2 split, and there go those Seekers to relay information. They know there are only two players here on the B site. Is trying to hold this back. Mata is going to end up going down over towards double doors. They might be double, doubling back to A. There's one on the front lines. It's going to be JC Stanny. That has, to, that has to hold it all back. Vice, great rotation. He could be here to at least try to cross fire up. But Gen G is going for something really, really wide. Just about 15 seconds left. They're currently over towards A main. And they're bursting out quickly. GMD going for the wide swing. Going to be able to take down both Vice and Ye. Unreal, actually. GMD all the way back in their spot. Nice little playoff of it. There's a crossroad being held. One person makes contact. The second person swings. There's no chance here for him. And Gen G, they pick up their third round. Also, just by cutting noise, they're throwing an illusion. But yay, that is a huge pick. And this mid control is massive. He's cutting off rotations. And for now, they know it's a guaranteed A play at the moment. If you can get the second pick, you remove the Viper, the, the main smoker in this situation. And now you've got a lot of troubles moving forward. That's a big issue. Ye can now control mid and stick with it. Gen G now everyone's stuck in a corner. Wow. Vice could be able to get this last one with the Hunter's Fairy. And Ye comes in flying with the Blade Storm. Oh, he's got to do it in the back sight. Uh oh, Orbo oh, strike coming in. Ye, no. Ye could have done everything there. So instead, now it has to be Seb. Seb still has that Sage wall up, but it's been broken down. He's still able to get a kill on Takusta. Look at the timing on Mana. Mana coming up from behind in a great time. He's going to be able to get two. Nature at the exact same time catching up a 2K. The Viper's Pit is still up. Oh and my. Michael Mikhail still surviving. And the Snake Bite could be able to help a little bit. Mikhail going down on damage. And the Pit, no way. He's going to let go it down. fall. It's going to go down, yeah. Yeah, no, he wants to play peekaboo with his last player, but he's not at it at all. Just about a minute left, and these two players are just playing cat and mouse with so just below 50 HP. The best thing that we can do now, Sully, is just wait, huh? Yeah, okay, Al at least has that poison orb, but it is so difficult for him to cross because he doesn't know exactly oh, here we go. when the peek is going in. But Mikhail, he waited, he watched, and he listened. Monica Vice going in solo with that recon, spots out the leg of GMD. Two more players from the defender side still playing up right in front of A main. And now in comes the pop as we speak. That Viper wall still up. The Viper's pit is up at the same time. And Box has this site on lock. But Gen G is still pushing through. It's GMD with a kill. Yay picking another one back onto Kusta. Currently a three on three as JC Stanny continues to sit in the middle of this pit. As this goes on, Mikhail oh. takes down and Mikhail on the perimeter of the pit is able to take down JC. JC Stanny, the pit falls, and now it's just all down to Mata with a Marshall who almost gets a big pick right through the smoke, but not able to get the kill. Oh my word, Mata, he might have actually made this possible. He's trying to get closer to Mikhail, trying to play this perimeter, gets a shot. There's a good chance that the opposing team slips in that one single round. Yay! No He's trying way. to slip through this front line, at least in the mid side. He's got a huge opportunity to get so many players on the back turn. He's never done this play, oh, so they're whoa. not ready for it at all. And on the other side, they're not paying attention. No! He no! misses his chance, and he only gets a tag. No way, and nature is right there. He had an opportunity for a collateral, and he's not even able to get one on real. And that's not even on Yay. Such a tough movement over towards wow. that mid side. They don't line up for him. Right as this happens, B side has been taken by Genji. Oh, nature good. In a very nice position in the back of attack. Your spawn anticipating the players pushing forward as his team takes the B site. Yes, the Seekers are out, but the anticipated Viper's Pit is activated as well. A 3v4, the revive for not possibly an Anbox in a tricky position. Nature, and he comes from behind. It's going to be Seb. Oh, still taking one back. Interesting from Ye. How he's still continuing to hold W right into the middle of the B site. He doesn't exactly have 
support, but he could still try around the corner here against oh Mikhail. Oh my goodness. No! The left click instead. A right click would have totally done it. Seb coming back, though. Going to be able to Wait. take down that Viper's Pit, but a snake bite right in the middle of sight. He thought about that before he died, and Seb has no Wait. time. I Wait. think, Sully. Wait. I think it's all the way Wait. down to the end. Oh, Wait. my word. Wait. Oh, Seb, are you kidding me? The ninja defuse. GM. Man, that's got to give some life back to Anbox. Ye is looking to strike, but he misses again. Trying. No dash this time around, and he gets punished for free. Gosh, Ninja defuses a rarity in Valorant. And we end up getting it. Finally one back, but right in the middle of the round, Sully. And Box okay. literally cannot breathe. It's three kills already going back and forth. Kusta wants a couple more. There's two players right in the back of that cloud burst. Vice is already out, and he gets sandwiched up by Michael, by Mikhail for his second kill. GMD. Still sticking up that mid side, and it's already a couple of players laying around Ooh. that A side. And unfortunately, Nature was going for a cheeky play in the middle of the cage. He ends up getting exposed by Ye Ye, gets another one. Mikhail picking up another big one onto JC Stanny. So currently a three on four. A couple of players from Genji still over towards that A main area. It's it's funny how sometimes maps flip up like that, but in we go. It's going to be Kusta and Sean picking up two big ones. No, it's only down to one singular player. Ye goes absolutely off. Depends on his ability to frag. Nature got to hold on here. Cage right in front of him, and he ends up pulling off a big one. He's right in the middle of the cage, and they still want to keep going. Nature. I mean, again, gutsy. Ballsy doesn't even describe it. But now the rest of his team, they could come in off of that momentum, off of that timing, and three players end up getting kills. Genji combining four. That angle. Yeah, that, that cam still up. Nature again in that back pyramid. But uh, like you said, still a different position. And it's switched up, and Nature flips the script on him. He's able to get two. Then he could potentially get more. That Viper Wall is going to go down. Yeah, he's still in the middle of the site. There's a Seeker still coming up right next to him, too. Yeah, he still gets another oh one onto goodness. Kusa. And just like that. Yeah, and JC Stanny going down in a heat. The Anbox are very quick to swarm him. They know that he has to pivot between two different positions. And they have players anticipating. They have players watching for those rotations to support him. And man, Anbox, they stave off the inevitable or possibly could be in the inevitable. And you have to clear him out. You have to ensure your toxins stay up long enough for the plan. Yeah, no, the Owl Drone did not spot him onto Weber. And it's there gone. You go, and it's gone. Spam right in the middle, and there you go. JC Stanny cannot be the game changer this round. He goes down in a flash. Now it's a man advantage for Gen.G. Sean wants to find Seb. He's can't planning go right behind the wall. No way. The sky flashed right in his face. Can Seb actually survive this? He's in such, like, no man's land. Finally out goes Sean. He's trying to jump over the wall. No! The dog ain't got hops. Oh, my lord. Seb's still in the middle of sight. It's just an awkward game of cat and mouse. It's just a standoff. Finally, they're going to be able to interact because of someone going over towards that midside. It's a trade back from Seb, taking back nature. Still that three on three. Sean with a kill onto Seb. Oh, there's a flank. Two more players in main. And there you go. Kusta on the flank. Both players still remaining. And Kusta finally going to be able to get a kill onto Mata off the trade. And the round is indeed over. That's going to be Genji closing out map number one over Anbox. Wars mid. Genji have sent one person to catch these flanks off guard. And it's a possible setup here with a paranoia, but Ye is good for the first nature quick on that trade, however. Yeah, nature going in for the entry as the sage, because why not? It's going to be GMD over towards that mid side off the lurk that he set up from the beginning of the round. And he's gonna be only going to be able to get one. There goes JC standing with a return frag as he tries to rotate back from B. Mata with a couple of bullets going back and forth. He bursts open the sage wall, and nature is right behind it, too. Nature has to run. He's just sitting right in the middle of this wall, and he goes for the white swing, taking down JC standing. He's still down to 20. He's in the middle of the orb. And not only that, but a ping Ooh. is going to be able to help him out. What an amazing ping! Vice is now the last one remaining in a 1v2. Gonna be able to take down Nature. This lineup here with a snake bite is just gonna take forever. Vice is going for the defuse. He didn't even get it to half. And the orb is gonna take him down to 1 HP. There goes the white swing from Kusta. Oh, and oh. No. Around the corner too. Makes it a little bit rough. He's still going for a little bit of a tight angle. Trying to thread the needle with a phantom. But Sean going in. Just trying to pick away at the body of JC standing. Indeed, it works. Finally getting up that entry kill. And Mod is still trying to fight back. He waltzes right in the middle of a firing range. Three guns right pointed at him. And now Anbox are down to three players without Gen G really making a step onto that oh B site. Oh my goodness. And, and G empty. Uh, 
He's still sneaking all the way towards that back line. Sully and Box, their options are just withering as we speak. They literally don't even know as well. Oh. Even if Seb were to get a couple of kills, they're already running back to the A side. And yeah, GMD, he spotted the road back, are really hoping to change things. But Sean is going to go so early, blasting into the A site. And there is no one behind him. He's taking it slow, but it's Mata no that comes way. up huge with a big pick. Yeah, Mata getting a massive one. The showstopper doesn't even come out. No need for a trade. It won't. Nature! Just trying to jump into the back of sight, and Mata has easily shifted all the way back into elbow, getting the kill at the same exact time. That's Vice still collecting up another one right in the middle of pipes. In comes GMD to try to help. They're still looking around for Mata. That's still an elbow. Kusta, Ooh. what on earth? A Ferrari peak wide swinging, taking down Mata, and that has equalized things down to a two on two. JC standing with a well placed snake bite, and now all they really want to do is wait, and they wait essentially into the hands of Yay, Yay right behind him. Gonna be able to get one. Takes down the spike, and still around the corner, GMD still fighting, GMD jumps into the crosshair of JC Staney. Very early hunt just here to gather information, but nothing is revealed, and a TP in the back, GMD, he's gonna get a free punish already, and a second from GMD, two. that is how you maximize an Omen ultimate, and he's looking he's for a third here, this is bliss from GMD. Oh my god, it is everything that GMD could ever want on a silver platter. Well, there you go, Gen G now has... Uh, essentially this site to try to defend two more players remaining now for Anbox and the Viper's Pit could certainly help Mata trying to dismiss and he dismisses back into Snowman. Gen G now still have that back control and box still trying to fight but it's so so tough finally there goes that Viper's Pit like I mentioned JC standing this time pulling it up could be able to smother that spike, but they still need players to try to spam through the Hunter's Fury. You don't even need to spam it, just and point it in the right ups. direction. And Nature is still there to get the kill on the Mana. Nature continues to hold W through the Viper's Pit. Discipline to try to rotate back. Over on the other side, though, and Box currently has Ye on that front line. Genji making their way into B main. Yeah, and Anbox have pulled all these rotations. I like the little change that they've elected to make is give Ye a little bit more space to work and get aggressive. A beautiful punish coming out from Seb as Yeah, well, Joe and Dark gives away the fact that he's teleporting Whoa. Sean a minuscule of a second. And he's able to find a pick. Four versus four. The revive available here for Anbox. And that body is readily available as Ye pushing down back towards the attacker spawn, looking for an early flank. But it's Gen G who will be playing this post plant. It's all or nothing. Gen G still has to fight this out. They have the advantage of the Viper's oh. Pit, and they have the advantage of nature just putting in a couple of bullets right through the smoke. Still Mikhail going down in a heap to the op of Ye. Sean with another big one on Tamada. There goes one player on the perimeter. JC Staney thought that he was slick, but Sean is able to take them down immediately. Kusta still sitting around. There's one person right outside of it. It's Seb that doesn't even want to approach. And Box still have two players left. It's only a one-man advantage, but they want to get the hell out of Dodge. And Box is losing yet another round. And Gen G remain supreme. Oh, they sure do, but and Box again. Still with a couple of options. No ulties, though. Let's see what they can pull off with just a couple of dry swings. Sean does have a little bit of a one-way just off of that smoke. And it's GMD, actually, that uh, might be able to take advantage of it. It does TP away right as the Viper wall goes down. Mata has a lot of control. And Box is swarming the site. Genji is completely on the perimeter. Finally, the, the defuse going down on JC Sandy, but he cancels. Sean actually missing out on the showstopper, but he's still able to get two more kills out of it. And Box got a little bit. So oh that be B main or A main or even mid. In comes Vice and he's just going right through the smoke dry. And it works out in his favor as he surprises GMD. So three players over in kitchen. Sav pops in, but he's only able to get one. Kusta goes for the swing and takes him down. JC standing. JC standing. Oh! No! Nature with a round changing kill potentially. JC standing had it all. And now Gen G have full control of the B sites, but maybe not B main. Look at Mata nope. coming up from B main, coming off of that flank, but they anticipate it. They go for the swing. Mata is still alive. Oh my goodness! Vice comes up from behind. It's a four v two that has been converted to a one v two. Big Kyel, now the last man standing. Mata watching in tunnels, and he does it again. A clutch from earlier, and we. We might see it again. Look at Mata changing up the pace, though, but it all falls apart. Mikhail takes him down in what was an all-or-nothing play. Aid from Sean to force EA a little bit further back. Now, Genji a little bit more slow in control, but it's Seb. 
It was the exact same play from Vice that was able to punish, but nothing for Seb in this instance. Instantly a 5v3. Oh, in we go. Still Sean, still trying to attack, and he's oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my god, Sean is just fourth. Has been the most effective thing. But in we go. Could that Viper spit work? But could it showstopper work? Sean, no way! That missed! And he still gets the kill. Look at Yay! Look at Yay! But Yay! Yay! Sneaking in from behind! He's still gonna be able to get two, but it's only two, Sully. The drama has completely subsided. As now JC Stanny is the last one remaining on 1v3 with only a Spectre. And he's down and out for the second half. It all comes down to the pistol round. And early on, it's already a take coming in from Anvox. They get overwhelmed. There goes the nade from that back line from Sean taking down JC standing, but more importantly, Anbox still has control of A. Yeah, lovely shock darts from Mikael to buy time, and look at the rotation back in as well. They're expecting the flank from their spawn, no! but Vice comes up huge with two. Now Nature trying to leap in and do the exact same, but he is going to go down. Next thing you know, Kusta in the one versus three, as soon as he gets to the scene, everybody is dead. Everyone's down. down. Kusta. You can just go bit by bit, still Mata. All the way towards the middle of sight. He has Spike right in the middle. Is he going for a Ninja Diffuse? Indeed he is, but he doesn't even put up the Toxins. Where's the Toxins? Ma Deep Omen Smoke to give him a little bit more coverage. But overall, it's Gen G who are playing the waiting game. There's a first pick from Ye, and that's going to pull a couple of rotations back to this A side. You can see who's just shifting his feet a little bit back towards the back of Yellow. And now the space has been opened up for Anbox to take towards B main. And like you said, it's all just down to Kusta. That snake bites should pressure him back a little bit. And he has to pull up the wall. The wall goes up. And JC standing still wide swings off of it. GMD over towards mid, taking down Seb. So, yeah. B is just wide open, Sully. Just off of that one interaction alone. And this is the same effect that we saw from Anbox. They only had one singular contact. And just off of one kill, it's all broken up. Yeah, really nicely done from Yay. You don't, you never expect your jet to be, or a jet to be lurking. So... Especially with it being the, the only entry duelist, really. You expect Ye to be the, the, the spear point of any attack. And yeah. Genji, they fell for it. Yeah, look at them go now. And now they're just looking to save left. at this point. Three rifles is a big bonus going to the next round. But they're trying to flush him out. Yeah, there's a flank even from Ye looking for the fight. JC Stani. They would have picked up GMD. The spike will go down finally. And that is a calamity. You were hoping three players stay alive. But nothing really in this instance. It's Genji all fall apart. It's 10 to 5. Rotations coming in fast and they're coming in scattered. Couple players going in towards that back line. There goes Vice out with that hundred fear, trying to find Punished. a couple players. And literally Vice two players okay. right in the middle of those crosshairs for the hundred theory. They both dodge and nature goes in for the wide swing, catching in two kills and two assists from his teammate. And now Ye over in the top line. He's gonna be able to take down GMD with a pretty good cheeky angle. But nature continues. He's rain a terror. No, Mikhail stealing his kill. Sean, how did Sean? Sean get that kill. He comes in. He grabs it. Only pretty lack, and they've never been stable to say the least. They've been dropping at least two, three players every round that they've won. So oh. nothing stable yet. Over towards B main. It is Sean getting overwhelmed by a whole bunch of util. Good attempt just off of the nade and good snake bite just to try to help his teammate get out. But it comes a little bit too late. In goes Mata though off the ping from the Owl Drone. Getting the kill onto Kusta. Now they just have to deal with Mikhail in the back of Yellow Box. And this side is theirs. Let's see what happens. Lear goes out. Watching from JC Stanny. And that should be the sight. GMD comes in swinging off of that rotation. He's right behind the Viper Wall. That has been engaged. Nature too pretty quick. And a 5v2. Wall up as well. This retake became so much harder. But wait a second. It slowed down. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Punish back from Mata. <laughs> Nature. We're very fortunate to find anything. A nice... Beautiful 5v5. It is full strength bef between Anbox and Genji potentially off this post play. Just about 50 seconds yeah, left. Time. Sean is delaying time. No Sean is delaying time. There goes the showstopper. It doesn't hit. The wall is there. No, it doesn't hit. It ends up hitting the wall if I'm not mistaken. Or either that, it just completely misses. Still going to be Ye and Mata back with the kills. And now Genji have been completely plugged away from the sights. This is about to be a 12th round, isn't it? Indeed it will be. No, I'm sorry. Eighth round. Oh my, I was looking at Genji. Anbox to maneuver because you know that they are anticipating this A hit. And already leading forward is going to be that Sova, but Ye is good to find the early pick. Oh, Mikhail still taking a little bit of damage back with that Hunter's Fury. Still collecting up a frag onto Mata. They still have at least one person on site with eyes on site. 
It's nature still looking around the corner and box at the exact same time. They are running into the Viper's pit. Great they are players. running into what is essentially a brick wall over towards B main. And it, what? They are actually going for this fake here. They have no idea where the player actually is in pit, but they're still attacking over on A. It is Ye that has been consistently lurking on the A site where he finally gets the shine, Sully. He gets two freebies, three big ones for round. Genji have been left scratching their... Will be picked up in the back by JC Stani. Wall up as well. Could this all be a misdirection? Gen G have fallen all too prone to it, but it's not. It's the real deal. It's the real deal here, Gus. And Mono will take the second frag. It should be 11 to 11 here. Gen G, what is the call? There are no bodies available for the revive. If you want to risk the snowman play, go for it, but who knows what lies in wait. And box in a 5v3 and a gorgeous chance to tie it up. One oh, okay. A gorgeous chance to tie it up, but a beautiful kill, first of all, from Nature. Picking one back, and Vice could be the one to kind of open things up finally against Gen.G in this defense. But watch out for the revive. It's going to be Mana going in for the white swing. JC standing helping out. Oh. Sean with an unbelievable 2K, but still has to keep going. Satchel over towards that right swing. And no, it's going to be the kill from Seb. And now it's only down to Mikhail now in this 1v2. He's wanting to go for the white swing. He has to isolate Vice. He has to isolate 1v1s, period. But he's not going to be able to do so. so and box. They take this round. It could be over. But this is the cheekiness that you like to see from these desperation rounds. Sean in the middle of triple box. Right in the back of B main. But he's only able to get one. A cheeky spot. A one and done essentially. And he's only able to get one. Genji still sticking around with four players. Same thing with the and box. But watch out for GMD. Off of that smoke over in mid. There's still one player watching out for the cross. It is Vice watching for the lurk. You will not kill my allies. And the spike, it is in such an open position. He's just ensuring that they can get it free, safe, and sound. GMD, though, oh, hears his word. footsteps, but surely he doesn't expect the player to his left. It could be an instant trade, but he's going to get at least one freebie here. Hopefully, no. no. Knife to his head. It's clean. And now, Anbox, the anticipation is where do they go? Two players are already leaning to this B side, and there's a re-aggression back down towards mid from Kusta. He's got to be the playmaker. He's got to have really good timing to set this one up. Yeah, in goes the take and the tell is the snake bite in the back of Yellow Box. Mikhail spreads that information back to his teammates. And now, what can they even pull off? There goes that shock dart. That shock dart might actually be effective against Seb, but it barely hits. And JC Stanny actually goes in for the wide swing, takes out Mikhail. And now Nature with a nice little burst, but he has to keep going. Three more seconds left until he can heal, and he has to stay alive. And indeed, he will. Back up to 100. His teammate, no, Kusta coming in from the midside. Yay going nuts off the blade storm and now nature at just about 25 HP 30 HP even here on B He's got control over two sides of the map, but this is GMD. This is his territory spots the bear roll He's gonna get one but JC Stun is quick on that trade so much damage dealt and This is a claustrophobic gear to be maneuvering in and box The tough position knowing that the B site isn't going to be free there only other routing is going to be back towards minute. You can see Mikael's already reading into that kind of play where three players sit here on the A side. This is a stronghold from Gen G. Took a look, and of course it no. helps with the pit, but no way, Kusta! It was looking strong, but it is all broken down in an instant. It's going to be a fast take to be. Oh, Kusa, that might have been the golden opportunity to win this game. You're going to break the wall, but there are so many players around. It's not even going to get the tag. Shock Darts go in. Seb will be hit a little bit. Showstopper to go. Sean has created space. He needs a kill off of this. And he, he will it. get only the single frag. Viper's been available. Same thing with the lineup. Sean's picked up the rifle, but they're still two to find. And Sean with the nade. There's a flank coming in, and it's up to Ye. It's up to Ye. He's stuck in the corner. Sean doesn't spot him. Sean gets oh. the kill. And we are... Here we go. Mata on the front line this time. Alongside Seb. Here you go. Seb sending both Sean and Nature through a loop. Two huge kills. Nature steps up again to the plate. And it's Gen G who are scraping for any leftovers in B main. They would need some sort of trade to tie this back to a 3v3. You have your two main smokers, your one Sova, your recon information. One of them has been spotted out. GMD in a tricky position. He's got to take the TV on top of two. Who expects a play like this? I think they might have heard it. So it is anticipated. But JC Stani. Waiting for a peek, and oh, Mikael, a huge give up from JC Stani, and GMD's been allowed to slip through the cracks in through Tube, and he's got a golden flank here on Anbox. Seb, 
needs to be so cautious here. And if he can win this fight, yes, he can. Gen G of the man advantage. No, watch out from behind. There's one person at the bottom of the middle. And he was thinking about tunnels. They're going to meet up in kitchen. But no, they don't spot each other. Instead, the Sova is going to be able to go towards that back line. And now Ye on a wide, wide flank. No, they're not even going to play it. Ye, they're not going to get it. it. He gets two. One more player remaining now in a 1v2. It is going to be GMD. Who? Position they already knew. No! What? Yay almost gets killed because of that drift. 15 seconds left, and Vice is just around the corner. Miraculous 2K lineup. And Gen G are shook to the core at this point. They had the momentum. They had the game plan. GMD with a run into the middle of sight, but not gonna aid. be able to find anything. But no, there you go. It's a slower nade combo right down, that ends up aid. connecting. Hook, line, and sinker. Sean takes down Seb. And now it's a man advantage for Gen G. The spike isn't even down yet. And finally, Mata takes it back. Wants to play an up and... Ooh, wants to play an up and neutral. And still, Yay getting another kill. That's Vice with another one. So much action going on. And it's Ambox as the dust subsides with the advantage. One more player remaining for Gen G. It is none other than Kusta in a 1v4. He has utility, he has options, but way too many pixels in front of him. It's a tall task and a 1v3 now after picking up a kill. He can still go deeper. Kusta, taking every corner that he can, but he has to commit to it. Or right in the middle, and he runs into the cross. Only one team having a sky. Those pop flashes can be just as deadly. Mata going leaping into heaven, and it's a one-for-one -one trade back and forth for a 3v3. Oh, JC Stanny gonna be able to take things back for an advantage for Ambox. And as the dust subsides here on the A sites, Ambox currently have full, full control, including Heaven Vice. Still waiting up for that rotation back in over towards screens. But Ambox will gladly, gladly take control and take a plant. Retake in. I don't know how many flashes they have exactly. Only one snake bite to utilize here as well. Eight seconds to the next flash, so they really need to wait. That should be their cue. That should be their opener. And Anbox. Playing the post plane. JC Stani had a very good position as well. The Viper Wall can come up as soon as he makes contact, which is a little too much pressure. And well, he's already got the first. He can deal with this himself, and he's pulling him away as well. There's nothing that you can really do here if you are Gen G. You're already pulled away from the site, and Stani's gonna get, get the kill. No, these are paranoia. Effectively, only 200 credits, and they've got all this space already. And yeah, no, it just comes down to Mata making up all that space, but now he's currently stuck up in a corner with only 4 HP, and with that 4 HP, he's just looking to expend all of his util from that corner. Why not? You're pretty much about to die. Throw out that boom bot, and let's see what else that vice can pull off. Trying to help out Mata. Still that orb up in heaven. Mikhail trying to catch up a little bit of space. Well, in the meanwhile, it's just a distraction play. JC Staney coming up from behind, taking down Kusta. And Mikhail remains the only representative for Gen G here in heaven. And he's getting sandwiched bit by bit. The flank that he had on him, it is gone though. And all it is all the way back towards that. Back into this B site. But at this point, they are committed to the A hit. And I think if Gen G can't find a pick early on, can't even out the numbers, it should be a save call. It absolutely should be a save call. Down. These two players are still right outside though. Ready and raring to go. Ooh, a couple of bursts in. There goes that Stim Beacon. Stim Beacon certainly helps. They still have full HP too. I can see this being possible. And there you go. That's certainly a start. Sean taking oh, down yeah. Vice. In goes Mikhail with a shot right through. Taking out Mata. JC Stanny up close and personal. Gonna be able to take down Nature over an elbow. Still a two on two and JC Stanny is still fighting. He's gonna be able to get a little bit of damage. Diffuse attempt by Mikhail, but it's just a little bit of a fake. Sean takes down Ye. JC Stanny is stuck in the middle of sight as the, as the spike is about to go off. And he's oh, dead, no uh, rifles! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> and box, the 4 nil lead, possibly. Mikael completely avoids that oh, paranoia, man. anticipates that kind of play, and is there to punish Mata for the third time he's done that. Yeah, with a stinger of all things, and now GMD from around the corner, waiting out for JC Stanny. JC Stanny thought that he was slick, but he runs right into the waiting off angle crosshair. Still NG, they're looking for a couple more frags as Anbox starts to stop their way through to the A site. Great Molly separating at least one of the players, but it might be all for naught. Again, that control is lost. They're looking to retake ramp though. Ye is ready for that pick. Potentially. It goes a little bit of a jiggle. He goes back in. The stim beacon is running his face. He goes for the dismiss. Around the corner comes Vice for the attempt. And Vice ends up getting two. Still stuck around the corner. Nature gonna be able to pick up a fan of right from around. He can't get him. The snake bite helps out Vice. He 
They're still trying to decide where they even want to go. Anbox still sticking around with most of their default. Lots of contact over towards ramp. Is just going to leave Anbox just a little bit more scattered and less... I guess determined for a singular spot. In comes Ye though, oh, all the way over yay. towards Mick. That's a free kill against Mikael. Now off from behind the dismiss. There you go. Ye, what a reaction. He gets a couple of hits off to his back, but he's still living. Sean going to be able to get a little bit more damage. Out goes the secrets. Just around the corner, it's going to be GMD taking down Ye. Still a two on four. GMD is able to get out very, very quickly. Those seekers giving all that information, but where... Or these two players, JC Stani needs a clearance, he knows there's one source of close left, a beautiful nade to force the split, and GMD is going to find another kill, explosions obscure the vision of Seb, and now he's down to three to find. Yeah, and he has no armor nature. I'm loving this position from Kusta, by the way, it's just a one-off stuff that you love to see, that I personally love to see, Mata. It's a big frag over onto Mikael, but it's still going to be an attempt. Kusta ends up getting one kill, but again, with that Vandal, not exactly effective. He was aiming for heaven interaction, but now in comes Nature playing Ring Around the Rosie with Ye. Mata coming in from behind, has a satchel in, has a showstopper, going to be able to get one, lands in front of Nature, and Nature ends up taking him down from the top rope. Still a 2v2. Nature has an angle onto JC Stanny. JC Stanny goes in for the peak. He needs help from GMT. Nature still gets the kill. Nature gets another one. How is Nature still alive? Still standing around this mid side and JC Sonny's got a whole lot of space in mailroom. They have information that an elevator take was attempted. JC Stanny, alongside the rest of his Anbox teammates, trying to make their way through, but Kusta takes him down in a one fell swoop. Sean, just around the corner, could be able to burst things open. Kusta's actually going right on through the pit. Just about 15 seconds left. Can they deny the play? Yes, they do! Sean comes in with a 2K, and that is it for the round. Ye has to pull off a 1v4 to make it possible, but the best thing that this man can do, get a couple of exits, get the hell out of dodge. It is a big a kill that he was hoping for, so more space taken up here by the side of Anbox. And a little bit of a contest back towards mid. Mata has worked his way all the way up with a blast back and a Boomba into elevator. Oh my God. This A split, it's looking very, very good. You kill the one player to elevator, but do you expect the second player? No, you don't. Yes, you do, even if Mata jumps down and finds the kill. Five versus three and Anbox have got the advantage leading into A. I mean, they anticipated it. There was a lot of utility being used by GMD over an elevator. So that double wide swing, it was essentially going to become a sandwich oh. over in that elevator position. But watch out, Kusta is the only representative here in the back of sight. And he's certainly making it work. He gets a big kill. And Sean comes in from behind to try the attackers from heaven. He misses out on this first shot. Up close and personal against Mata. Mata ends up getting the kill. Spike Carrier goes down. They still have to get that plant in. And they have completely denied it. The round is over. Mata can't go anywhere with this. There's a snake bite right in the middle. Oh my word, Genji. Right here. What's that to a round one by Genji? It's nothing but yay. Kicks us off with a nice bang. There you go, Mata. By Mikael. Mata to leap through the poison orb out, and Mikael's got nothing to do. What a lovely, lovely flash, but it's only going to net one kill nonetheless. And Mikael tries to pound. Smoked off is anticipating the swing to Leer. That actually might be out of his range if he wants to go for a light peek, and he does it. He gets a kill. He dashes away, avoids the boom bot, and there's a free pick to the side of Genji. Mid is a little bit more of a worry part for Anbox, I'd imagine, moving forward. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, ouch. <laughs> Taking out a bit of damage, still going up for that approach. Oh, Vice. And, oh, Vice. Oh, there it is. He just ends up getting two cheeky ones over towards ramp. And that, yeah, look again, at it's yet another controller going for a lurk. It's as stereotypical as you can get. So he gets those picks. Everyone gets the hell out of B. And now this B side is essentially wide open, except for one in heaven. Ooh, nature dropping down instantly, but he's got to take this fight. He knows he's got to bring the swing to them. They might not expect it. Such an aggressive play. Such an aggressive play. It's only going to find one, but he's done enough. Delayed the spike plane, and now his players are close. One's already towards mailroom, but it's the combo that they need. The flashes to work into the site. Position's unknown, and time is not on their side. GMD with barely any utility at this point, just trying to be either the info getter or just a little bit of a bait for his teammate to pop out. Does look like he's going for a little bit of a lineup. We don't exactly know what the plan is for Genji just yet, but still prodding through. Dry certainly helps. Vice gonna be able to get one into GMD. He has to run away. He has to run away. No, he's right on top of him. Sean, he can't find anything in the Viper's Pit. The Viper's Pit comes out at a perfect time in the middle of a 1v1, and Vice has literally jumped away from that entire situation. There goes the tick on the spike. The spike not being defused. Whoa! Sean, whoa! Where did Sean even see Vice? The round is over. 
He doesn't win the round. What was that kill from Sean? Time he was able to punish GMD. Does he do it here again? Yes, he does. And oh, it's two players to drop in a one for one. That is swift from Anbox and Gen G. They have full, or apologies, Anbox now take control back of Elevator because of this Viper's Wall. So now Gen G, yes, they've gone one for one, but they've lost a lot of map control. There's about 50 seconds left on the clock again. Anbox just trying to stretch out as much of that mid control as possible. And Vice, Vice came in from ramp side, Sully, and he still goes down and he, oh my word, what an updraft dash from Kusta. Kusta is still able to get the kill on Tabata. Great reaction from Kusta, but the rest of Anbox is still able to clean up the pieces. He's Despite will be able to go down. Revive is there. Could be able to go down. And there it is. Revive is live. And not only that, but he heals himself up. Could be a three on two. He just needs to get that revive on. There you go. Finally gets in. Sean up close and personal. Gonna be able to take down J JC Stan. He's still nature getting another one. Mana stuck up against the wall. 22 HP. Throws in the nade. Forces nature to go out. And nature stays alive. Post-mortem. Six to six. Yeah, they still are Gen G. They've been ready for a B set take. And now they're just beyond the smoke. Now they're ready to go. In goes that double blast back at GMD from midair. He actually took down Mana. Vice somehow still alive. And he goes down in a heap after Mikael goes in for the wide swing. And that's the sight taken back. Potentially, Ye could try to fight for it, but no. And Box have been left out and away from sight. And Gen G most likely locking up a seven. Seb still trying to go for it still. All four players from Gen G sitting up on site. There goes the guiding light. Got to be able to get even more information. Just uh, letting them know that Seb is still there. Seb is still chilling. The armor is gone. 19 HP is still around. Yeah, going in for the heal up, but he finally goes down. So there he goes. It'll start to slowly charge. This is beautiful timing. Oh, Absolutely look at the timing. There it is. For Vice. Wall goes up, and here comes the orb. He's going to take the first contact. He's not going to spin around. He needs to isolate some kind of fight. The Kusa breaks his line of sight. There's an opening, and here's a chance. 20 seconds left, but Anbox, they've stopped them in their tracks. Viper Wall is still up. Same thing with the orb. Mana is just around it. But oh, no, Sean going to be able to take down Mana because the Cloud Burst just had that much of a space. Eight seconds left. No, the plant won't be able to go down, and instead Nature gets the kill into Seb. Gen G. G. All they can really do is just take all this advantage in the world. Is this going to be yet another four-round streak? We saw that early on in this game from both of the two teams. If before, I, I thought we were feeling deja vu a little bit, but this is just another level. In we go. Kusta wants to jump right in, and he ends up taking down JC Stanny with a Spectre, and Mikhail with another one off the Seb. And Bucks not only have two players remaining, and Kusta, who updrafted into Raptors, still remains at that same exact spot. He wide swings. Is he going to get a third from this position? Indeed he will. This is going to be yet another fast take, Sully. In we go. It's going to be Ye towards that back line. Orbital strike towards heaven. Ye still going up for that wide swing. Kill out from GMD. Seb still sitting up. Up in the back site and they have no clue he's here just yet but wow the adjustment for them to even go back seb still gets a kill off of that somehow actually i didn't even see him get the kill still jc standing gonna be able to get one onto mikhail as he jumps out sean back over towards ramp gets it gmd the nade. still with seven hp he gets one showstopper in there you go from oh! beyond the no mana didn't even go for the kill gmd JC Sonny is the only one that has to really, really take a heavy hit because he's got to buy a Paranoid. He's got to buy Utility as well with that smoke. So many costs are going to be taken here. And Anbox, you cannot afford anything in this situation. Your run could run end here against Gen G. Both teams have made changes, but one looks better than the other on two maps. And Anbox, the full setup on the B site. Three players here and four players approaching. It is a must-win round. And we go, it's a cheeky setup, no, Vice, Vice, where was Vice looking? He looks back towards the direction, there goes the dismiss, but the dismiss is right in the middle of a nade. GMT with a setup, in goes JC standing in the back of sight, still down to the 3v3. The Spectre is working for JC standing, he gets a whole lot more damage on another. Still that heal up for JC standing, in goes Mana, how, Mana, how? how did he miss out on the showstopper? How did it miss? Okay, Mikhail still gets the kill. There goes the TP away. And the TP away is going to be the only way that JC Stanley can go. It's a 1v3. All of these players low on HP. It's possible, but it would have to be the biggest clutch yet. I cannot believe the showstopper doesn't get a kill. It had to have been stuck on like a pixel peak and JC Stani because of that. He's got three players to find. Yes, all three are low HP, but he's... He's only one man. JC Stani, the new addition to this roster, has to come up absolutely massive. 
All he can do is check these angles. He has a couple of smokes to try to help him out, but he drops, makes a little bit of noise. He's down on Mikhail, still around the corner, still hasn't spotted him, finally catches off the arm. Sean's still in the back line, there you go. He has no clue that somebody is in B main, but he doesn't even go for it. He waltzes on by, half the defuse has gone in, but Mikhail 